Hello, and welcome to the side-by-side -side comparison of the original Blackboard landing page to Blackboard's Ultra Base Navigation. We hope that this walkthrough will demonstrate the differences from the experiences. On your left, you'll have the original landing page where you currently land upon logging into Blackboard. On the right is Blackboard's Ultra Base Navigation, what will happen when we reach May 23rd, 2022. On the left, you will notice it's familiar. You see the courses will show up here in your My Courses module. And depending upon how many you have, it may take a little while to scroll to see everything on the page, thereby moving the other stuff on the page to a different location. Your organizations show up at the bottom. At the top, there are navigational elements for different types of support mechanisms and resources. For instance, Faculty Central, the Faculty Central tab takes you to the Faculty Central page where you can get access to the, the webinars, the certification, as well as the e-learning blog. However, when you do that, you're taken away from the original page you are already on. Beyond that, notifications for courses show up in the top upper right hand side of the screen. And it's really the only place you can get to them. And they're kind of hidden up here on the right. Beyond that, uh, system announcements show up in the course level, uh, as well as when we create modules uh, here um, in, in Blackboard. So we can talk to you about certain events that are coming soon. Other tools that you might have access to are available in different locations depending upon the tool. So that's the landing page for Blackboard's original flavor. To the right here is the Ultrabase navigation coming this summer, uh, no later than May 23rd, 2022. On the right, you will notice that it has the My Institution page, that is the landing page, the place you will first come to upon logging into Blackboard. You will notice that we're still able to communicate to you about events on campus. You still have access to resources that you had, just not in a tab, for Faculty Central, for instance, or Student Central. The first links show up there, and to see the rest of them, you would click Show All, and a layer pops out right on top to get access to the other important resources for Faculty Central. For students, it works the same way. Each of these modules can be geared to be shown to a specific community. For instance, the Faculty Central module or links module for Faculty Central is only available for people with an instructor role in the thesis institutions. Student Central is actually available to students and instructors so that students can answer questions, and instructors can answer questions of students. Beyond that, the um, on the landing page in Blackboard, instructors and students have easy access to check out their profile and update their avatar image, as well as name pronunciation and pronouns. Beyond that, Blackboard's Ultra Base Navigation has an activity stream. In the original flavor of Learn, in order to access the activity stream, you had to know where to find it. It was kind of hidden. So you would come up to your drop down menu up here and then go here to uh, Posts or Home. So if I were to go to Home here, I would see any current posts I have going on, possibly some due dates, as well as uh, anything that might be graded that I want to interact with. However, it was hard to find for instructors or students, right? In the new Blackboard Learns Ultra Base Navigation, the activity stream is right up front. By clicking on the activity stream, instructors and students get access to updates that are urgent, recent, today. Uh, they're categorized by um, their, when they're due. Uh, overdue items, for example, are urgent. Instructors and students can click just from this dashboard to jump directly into the courses of which this is applied. So if I were teaching an active course, I would see that one student is falling behind in one of my courses. I could click into that course and immediately start to interact with that student just by using this link. Course messages that are sent between communications sent between students and instructors will also show up here so I know that, oh, I've got a message. If an item is ready for me to grade, I will get an update here. Replies to discussion posts and other things all show up in the activity stream. 
Think of it as an easy in, easy out dashboard access to activities and um, grading opportunities that are happening in your courses. Speaking of courses, let's talk about courses and how you access those. In the old Blackboard, your courses would show up in your My Courses list. While this was convenient that they were on the landing page easily seen, it was inconvenient if you've been at Blackboard for or been at the institution for a while, your courses, your course list could grow and it's hard to sort or find what you need. In the Blackboard Learn Ultra Base Navigation format, you click on your courses tab and you get access to either a listing of all of your courses or a grid view of all of your courses. You can then search directly for the course you are looking for or change the term and organize your courses by term. By default, courses are sorted by the current courses, the, current, the courses that are currently available for the instructor uh, first. I can sort by all courses. I can choose courses I teach, courses I teach it, I'm taking. I can also limit or increase the amount of courses I see per page. If I would like to make a course a focus, I could scroll down to the course that I'd like to make a focus and bring up to the top and click the star, thereby making the course appear at the top of the screen. The good news is that organizations, which you, were, which you found in the other Blackboard by scrolling all the way to the bottom under My Courses, there, are also easily accessible just under the Organizations tab. When I click on the Organizations link in this menu, I see my organizations in list view or grid view, and they are searched and organized the same way. On the landing page again, easy access to the calendar. Remember, in old Blackboard, in order to find that calendar, I would have to come up to the secret menu at the upper right hand side of my screen and then access the calendar by going to my home, or actually by clicking here on the calendar. And then my calendar would show up for my courses. Now, in the new interface under Blackboard Learn's Ultra Base Nav, I click on Calendar, and all of the calendar dates are show. I can choose by day or by month, and items that are due or activities or events that are happening in my courses are color-coded by the course. Next is Messages. Blackboard at Sam Houston State University currently doesn't have messages turned on. It will be turned on with the advent of the Blackboard Learns Base Navigation coming in May, at the end of May the 23rd. Messages allow me to send communications inside Blackboard to students and fellow instructors. Messages are internal to Blackboard. That means that if the student's inbox is full or just too full of things that they can't find the message that you sent, or if they're sending a larger file that their inbox won't allow them to send, they can send it within Blackboard and you will still receive a message that you had. You have a new message. You will note that a number will pop up right next to the envelope to let you know. From the messages interface, I can scroll down to a course that I might be teaching and click the plus sign to go and send a message to any of the people enrolled in the course. Next, is a feature that you will not find as well in the original Blackboard landing page experience. And that is a place to see all of my grades in a dashboard display across all of my courses. Note on the right hand side, I have this option here for grades. I can click grades. It will then display all of the courses that I am teaching or that I am enrolled in I can, I can look and go to past courses by clicking my left arrow, but under courses, you'll see here that I actually can dive straight into the course and start grading without actually having to go into the course first. So this dashboard of your grades in the ultra base navigation experience is an efficiency for you as an instructor, as well as your students. Your students have quick access to the grades across all of their courses. Tools, which I mentioned earlier in Blackboard, depending upon which tools they were, were found in different places on the landing page. Now tools are all found at a convenient one-stop shop for tools. Tools like Quickly and Kaltura Media and others, depending upon your role, will show up here. I hope this side-by-side -side comparison has been helpful for you. Remember, if you need to sign up for any of our webinars around the Ultra Experience, 
visit online.shsu.edu and check out the Campus tab and choose Faculty Services. Thank you so much and have a great day.